Hey, hey ladies. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know our Lady of the Month show is shorter this month um, with today being our last day, like as far as videos go. And then tomorrow is Thursday and that's gonna be our last day to order. Normally the Lady of the Month show goes through Friday, but Friday is my due date, uh, which is absolutely insane. Um, but today I thought it'd be fun to talk about our um, Sheer mineral starter kit and I don't know if I've ever done a video like showing how to use the starter kit and I was like I feel like it's kind of an undiscovered gem in our catalog I personally normally prefer our um, our liquid foundation um, but I also really like our powder foundation if I'm going for a lighter look um, and it kind of depends on what I'm going for sometimes I'll like mix and match liquid foundation. So like I put liquid foundation on and then powder foundation on top. There's just so many different ways to use um, our mineral foundation. Now, the in the starter kit, um, it's actually, it comes in a zipper bag. I don't have the zipper bag. So I have my stuff here in this little basket to show you, but it's a really great value. Um, and in the kit, you get your choice of one foundation shade. Um, and this is the the normal size, I think it comes in the same size jar, but it comes with less product. So it's kind of like a trial size thing, um, but it will still last you. I think it's supposed to last like about three months or so. So you get a foundation shade. If you need help picking your foundation shade, let me know and I would be more than happy to help with that. You also get either another jar of foundation or you can choose our pink veil. The pink veil is like an oil absorbing finishing powder. I like to use it on my eyes like before I apply my mascara, it just gives it something to adhere to and helps it not to run. So I love this, especially if you struggle with oiliness, I would recommend getting this. Um, but you can do the same thing with the foundation, like brush it over your eyes um, before doing your eye makeup. Um, totally up to you. So you can do either two jars of pink veil, two jars of foundation. You can do one jar of foundation, one jar of pink veil. You get the idea. Next, you choose a blush or bronzer color. My favorite blush color is hibiscus. That's the one I'm going to be using in the video. Um, but we have a lot of different options. And again, I can totally give you recommendations. Um, if you want to send me a picture of yourself, um, I'd be happy to tell you which one I'd recommend for you. And then you also get to choose a full size concealer. Oh, and by the way, the blush is the full size, um, full size size. Um, and then you get to pick a liquid concealer of your choice. The one I'm using in the video today is Fair Nude. Uh, we also, and then I, I tell you what other ones we have, but love our liquid concealer, it's amazing. And then the last thing you get to choose is a brush. And this is something that not a lot of other starter kits on the market offer, like, you know, with other makeup brands. Normally it comes with like a really cheap little brush. They don't let you pick your own. I remember the first starter kit I got, like when I first started wearing makeup, probably, oh, well, it's been almost five years ago, or it's been five years ago. Um, it, gave, it was like really a scratchy, poor quality brush. So anyway, I usually recommend that people choose the Kabuki brush. Um, it, it would give you like the greatest value for the kit. Um, but you can choose any brush you want. And the cool thing with this kit is um, you can purchase it more than one time. Like, let's say maybe you just need to refill on everything, you know, concealer and blush and foundation, or maybe you need more pink veil and you go through it really quickly. Like if you're using our um, liquid foundation, then you could use the two pink veil option. Uh, but you can then pick a different brush the next time, you know, like an angled blush brush or something like that. Um, and this kit is only $54, um, which is a great value. I actually should have figured it out like before I did the video, like what all the full size containers would be. But I Okay, so I'm just gonna randomly jump in here because I did end up figuring it out then and it was too good not to share. If you would get all the full size, like a full size foundation, full size pink veil, a blush, the concealer, and the kabuki brush, it would be $90, you guys. And you can get this kit for $54 great value. And I'm going to show you how to use it here in just a second. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's get started. Um, so anytime you're using like minerals, like loose minerals, it's a really good idea to use some kind of primer. Um, I'm just going to be using our regular primer. Um, another thing you can do is use like your favorite face lotion. Um, that will work as well. However, I really, really do love our primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply about one to one and a half pumps and apply this all over my skin 
and I love our primer um, because it is amazing at like plumping up your skin and it helps to just prep it and helps the minerals to stick really well and I don't know why but I love the smell like you'll know what I mean when you use it um, so anyway got that on I'm just gonna give that like a little bit of time to dry and then we'll move on and um, do the minerals okay so there are a few different ways that you can do um, like your concealer um, for me I use concealer mainly under my eyes and the two different ways that you can do it is you can put it on before you do your powder foundation or after kind of my rule of thumb is if I'm doing a powder foundation I usually put my concealer on first and then my powder on afterwards um, but and then if I'm using a liquid foundation I'll put my liquid foundation on first and then my concealer but it really is just personal preference and I like to just put it right under my eye area there and this stuff is pretty thick so it really doesn't take very much and then I'm gonna go ahead and use um, my blending sponge a damp blending sponge uh, to blend that out but you could also just use your fingers I do prefer to use um, a blending sponge though I just feel like it works a, a lot better All right, so we're ready to move on to foundation. If you have questions about your foundation, you guys like what shade you should be getting, just please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help color match you. I'm gonna be using our Oatmeal Light shade um, and I'm gonna be using our Kabuki brush to apply. Remember, with this kit, you get your choice of any brush. I like our Kabuki brush because it's a pretty good all-purpose brush. I also like our angled blush brush. And you know, maybe if you're refilling your makeup stash and you choose this um, option again, you could maybe choose another brush that you were wanting to try, like if you've already gotten the Kabuki brush. So I have a little bit tapped into my lid here and with minerals, um, there's actually a reason that there's like this foam thing on the lid here, um, because when you use your brush to really like swirl that in there, you're actually kind of warming up the minerals and making so that they're going to, um, just really melt into your skin really well um, and keep in mind also that our minerals are non nanoparticle so they are bigger than your pores so they um, the idea with that is that they don't um, sink down in and clog and cause cystic acne and things like that um, also um, oh, what was I gonna say oh if you're wondering like what the different difference is like between um, you know, if you want liquid foundation or powder foundation, um, powder foundation is really good if you have oily skin um, and if you want a lighter coverage, but it's also powder foundation can be used in combination with liquid foundation. So like if you have liquid foundation that you use now, you could always use um, a powder foundation on top to give you extra coverage um, and also to soak up any like excess oils that you might have. Um, so there's so many different ways that you can use um, the powder foundation. The other thing you can do with this kit is you could get like a, a one of our darker colors of foundation and use that as like um, a contouring powder. Um, there's so many different ways to use this. So I am just applying a little more. And again, the powder foundation is more of a sheer coverage. So not a ton of coverage. And I know it probably sounds like I'm using a lot, but I'm just tapping like a little tiny bit on at a time um, just to avoid looking powdery. And it really does help to blend out really well with that Kabuki brush as well. All right, so now you get to um, blend in the whatever beautiful shade of blush or bronzer that you chose. And I am going to be using our hibiscus shade. It's just, I don't know, it's always been my favorite. Um, and again, you can totally use the Kabuki brush here. I prefer to use our angled blush brush. Um, I just really like that one. And also I've used lipstick as blush. There's so many different things that you can use and your makeup can, your makeup is so versatile. There's no rules. So the way I like to apply my blush is I like to start the outer fourth of my eye and 
move back to my ear and staying on top of my cheekbone. All right, so now that I have my blush applied, um, the next step is Pink Veil. If you chose that option with your, uh, like the, mineral, the Sheer Mineral Starter Kit, keep in mind, with the Sheer Mineral Starter Kit, you can either get the two jars of foundation, or you can get one jar of foundation, one jar of Pink Veil, or you can get two jars of Pink Veil. It just depends on what you need at the time. So I am gonna go ahead and show you guys how I like to use the Pink Veil. Um, and keep in mind, the sizes that come in the starter kit are trial sizes for the foundation and the pink veil. The blush is full size, the concealer is full size, um, and you know, you get the brush. Um, but um, I think they come in the same size jar, there's just less product in it. Um, but it's like three grams versus six grams, I think, or actually I could check on that. Uh, nine grams is in the full size. So I'm gonna, I have a little bit of pink veil. You might be wondering, okay, what is the purpose of pink veil? Should I get two jars of foundation or should I do the pink veil? I like the pink veil to set my eyes, um, like with the concealer, if I'm wearing concealer on my eyes, just because it has that kale and clay in it, so it helps to absorb any excess oils. Um, it helps keep your mascara from running and it's just a good like setting powder for your makeup. If you're not super oily, you could totally get away with just going ahead and getting two jars of foundation. You know, you could get like maybe your winter shade and your summer shade. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that it's so easy to like mix colors to get a custom shade as well. So like what I will sometimes do is mix my winter shade and summer shade, which makes my fall shade. Um, so those are just a few ideas. So I'm just putting this all over my face to just kind of set the makeup that I already put on. And that is how you use the pink veil. Um, all right, so we used everything that comes in the starter kit. Um, and again, um, I showed you everything that comes in that in the beginning, but just as a refresher, you get uh, one jar of foundation, one jar of pink veil, or again, you can do two jars of foundation. <laughs> Sorry. Or two jars of pink veil, you get your choice of one full-size blush or bronzer color. Um, you get a concealer of your choice, and I use the Fair Nude today. It also comes in medium beige. It comes in our um, pink brightening, which is great if you need just a little bit more pink and uh, to brighten up your eye area. Um, and then also our green corrector. This one's great for redness, concealing redness. Um, so those are your options there. Um, and then let me see here. Oh, and then the last thing would be your choice of a brush and you can literally do any. And remember this comes in like a really cute little zipper bag and for $54, it really, um, does help save you some. And, um, it could be used in addition to like the liquid foundation. If you're a fan of the liquid foundation, uh, there's just so many different ways to use this. So I'm going to finish up my makeup look real quick. Um, and then I will be back. Okay, I thought I would just do a voice over here just so you know the products I'm using. I am using our Dark Brow Pomade in my brows. And that is just an angled um, eyeliner brush that I got at Ulta. Um, it's very, very skinny. <clears throat> and I like that one. And then I am blending out with our dual brow brush there. Here I am using our Sugar and Spice Bronzing and Highlighting Palette as an eyeshadow. And then a retired... Um, eyeliner pencil and then blending that out with my little brush there now I'm just curling my eyelashes to give them an extra pop and then I'm finishing up with our organic brown mascara um, love love our mascara after the mascara I am gonna finish up my look with our lip butter and also I just misted with our setting spray as well all right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I know I enjoyed doing it for you, and it's crazy that this is gonna be my last Lady of the Month show. Probably, definitely, I would say. <laughs> Before adding a third baby to our family, I have no idea what my plans for February are as far as whether or not I'm gonna do a Lady of the Month show. 
I probably will, um, but it'll probably be towards the end of February. So just keep that in mind. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated because we're going to have a lot of clearance sales in February. So I definitely want you guys to be able to take advantage of that. Um, but your bonus word for this video is going to be minerals. And if you send that back to me in a text message all by itself, it'll enter you into today's giveaway. Um, if you have any questions, as always, please just text me. And again, don't forget that instead of Friday at noon, our ordering deadline is now tomorrow at noon, so Thursday noon. Um, and just text me with your orders. Don't go through the website. <laughs> that can be really stressful. Um, just send it directly to me. Um, and I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for being here with me this month. I am excited to see who we crown this month. It's always so much fun. Um, and I will see you guys again later. Keep an eye on my Instagram for baby news. Um, and I will see you again next month. See you later.